Infiltrate the U.S. missile base. Well, what if I want to do an extra ops? No, there's not much there. Alright, infiltrate the fucking U.S. military base. Actually, whoa, wait. Oh no, that's the difficulty. I was like, wait, there's three skulls. That means you can have three people. No, no, that's just saying the difficulty. Eh, that ain't too hard. Snake. Peace Walker has crossed the border and entered a U.S. military supply base on the southeastern shore of Lago Colsibolca. Coleman's targeting the MSF plant. That's us. Don't let it launch that nuke. Destroy Peace Walker. Yeah, although I do recommend maybe evacuating some people like the civilians and maybe everybody else. I'm just saying. Okay, now we're going to be sneaking snake because we need to sneak into the U.S. Stealth. military base. Stealth. Stealth. What are we going to do, Snake? If Peace Walker attacks Mother Base... Relax. We've got the entire MSF out to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, but Peace Walker's missiles have one megaton warheads. The fireball alone would be a mile in diameter. Everything in the vicinity of Ground Zero will be vaporized by the heat rays. Then there's the blast, which travels at hundreds of miles per hour. And the fires, and the... A huge dose of radiation from the initial nuclear reaction. That too. There won't be a single survivor. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Look, Doc, you made that thing. You know better than anybody what it's capable of. Right now, you've got to give me a rational, scientific estimate of the damage. If we're talking about a nuclear explosion, it's more than just MSF's problem. You're right, Snake. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, Mother Base would be wiped out. Any ships in the area could be caught in the blast, too. We'd need to send out a warning. The thing to worry about most is the fallout. The dust of death. If it goes off over water, the particles will be smaller than with an explosion over land, so the wind will scatter the fallout over a wider area. Clouds will form around the salt crystals in the seawater, causing contaminated rain to fall downwind. Yeah, got a taste of that myself. On Bikini Atoll? That's right. The 1954 Castle Bravo test created fallout 300 miles downwind. Poisoned a lot of local residents and ships, so I hear. The yield of Peace Walker's warheads isn't that big, but the amount of fallout will largely depend on weather conditions. It's impossible to make a quick and easy estimate. If it gets into the trade winds, it could come straight to Costa Rica. What was it Coldman was saying? About leaving people free to help out? He's out of his mind. What does he think's gonna happen? When they get hit by rain containing high concentrations of fallout, a lot of them will die from the external exposure alone. The rain will seep into the ground, contaminating the water supply and crops. When they ingest the stuff, the internal exposure starts. Strontium-90 and cesium-137 have half-lives of around 30 years. The effects stay with you your entire life. Leukemia, cataracts, dermatitis, cancer. And it affects reproduction, too. I know. Even today. 30 years after World War II, thousands of people still suffer from exposure to the bomb. We can't let Coldman create more of them just to prove his point. I know it sounds crazy, but I created Peace Walker so that that kind of thing would never happen again. Don't worry, Doc. We'll stop it. One way or another. Don't worry, we can't allow fallout to happen. Or two, or three, or four. Yeah. So do I have everything I would want? Walkman? Yeah, we could swap the Walkman out for something else. The Sonic Eye! Chapter 4. The Illusion of Peace. What about the illusion of war? What if war doesn't exist? What if we're all just captured in Take the gondola west along the river. When you reach the northern bank, you are in Nicaragua. Well, we I've arranged for a guide on. to get you close. Snake! Chico. Sorry about the horse. He sure was pretty. 
Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. Oh, he had to put the horse out of its misery. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Boss. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life. By your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. Kill me. Kill me now. There's only room for one boss. And one snake. Oh, we had to relive shooting boss again. And the horse. This section was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove their innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way that the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. That was her final mission. Snake, history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Something's not right. Key guard doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Gonna need some help. and clear. Got him without a hitch. Good. There's an airfield on the other side of the building, on the northwestern shore of the lake. That's where they'll conduct the launch. There's a communications tower in front of you. I'm betting they'll control Peace Walker from there. Cuz, they're targeting Mother Base. Don't you think you should evacuate? Nah. Everybody here believes in you, boss. <laughs> All right, fine then. I've kind of gotten attached to the place myself. What about Amanda and her people? They've been taken to safety. We can't involve them in this any further. Good. They've got their own cause to fight for. And Snake. Don't forget the bad guys have got Paz. I won't. We're prepping a few backup units. Don't let them launch, Snake. We're counting on you. I'll be fine. Though if they do get a nuke off, we could always just say that's a tragic backstory for the for Big Boss to like start his true path to becoming a criminal. Oh boy. 
See the communications tower to the west? Head for that snake. I didn't get a weapon that can kill that. Uh Yeah, all right. We're just going to have to full on snake because there's no way I can take on the the kidnapper with Soviet only silenced soldiers. weapons or rather an American base. Oh shit. Something's wrong here. Keep your eyes peeled, boss. I don't know what Rand's except to. He's just kind of like pointing at people. He's probably gonna shoot one. Yeah, there he goes. Now it looks like ah, we could have gone back here. So these Soviet guys have helmets on, or at least masks on, and so they can't be shot up from the front. At least that's how I think it goes. I'm not really sure. I also don't know who Ranjik just shot. It could be the guy in the catwalk, or it could be the guy up. Oh. The enemy's caught. There. Caught. And now he falls asleep. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Ha! I can make it down here easy. Oops. Oh, hello! Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. I rolled through Ranzik, and I don't know whether or not him shooting as I rolled through him got him caught. Or just me rolling, period, got him caught. In fact, where are the enemies? Oh, there's that guy. Oh shit, Rantic, no! What? That was weird. Alright. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Ratchet just took out a heavily armed dude by running in front of him. That is just weird. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Yes, you felt nothing. Nothing at all. No, Ranzik! No, Ranzik, Ranzik, what have you done? Yeah, well that guy's a moron. Enemy sight, moving to engage! What? No! Ranzik, no! Ranzik, what have you done? That's not my fault this time! Coward, fight like a man! Ranzik, take out the other dude while he's distracted with me! No! Ah! Don't be a pesky little Soviet! I did it! Oh! Oh shit, there's more people here? Oh man. Ooh, nice knife, dog. Too bad don't mean nothing to me. Ooh, look at all that soda. Uh oh. Grenade! He almost killed his friend. And away the heavily armed dude goes. Huh. Life is frantic when you fuck up. Go, go, go. You can't move on if the enemy knows where you are. Lie low for a while and wait for them to lift the alert. This is HQ. This is patrol. Contact lost. Going to alert status. 
Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him. Shit, where's the last guy? Usually if you take out every single person, then it's like, alright, let's get a move on with life. But he's not over here. So I guess we just sit here. Come in, HQ. Let's go! Uh oh. I didn't realize we were getting on like an elevator thing. We have become one, Ranzik! Just kidding. What was that? Uh oh. I hope those guys don't try to climb the ladder, or, uh. We're fucked. Then again, I could always sh sh shoot the shit out of them. Subject confirmed on board helicopter. Come out. Freeze. Ah! <laughs> Get freeze. Ah! Sup. Oh, you thought that because you're a big man, you're not no one's gonna come up for and uh patch it down? Too bad. Oh shit. Come in, HQ! This is HQ. recovery helicopter Control. is complete. All clear. Understood. Return to base. <laughs> Good job, Ranzik. We handled that area pretty damn well, considering we kind of started an alert really fast. Oh, uh, is there something on there? Oh, a prisoner. Sweet. Good thing I kept my eye out for stuff. Oh. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. We're pulling out. I was about to say, oh man. This is a pretty long area if we can go up this place. No, that's the end of the area. It's really weird. Going from, like, Metal Gear Solid 4 and having these really long environments to going to Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker and going to relatively really short environments. You take out five dudes and you move on. I, I guess that's been, always been kind of Metal Gear Solid. Send you away. Hope the fucking robot doesn't see us. We're under attack. Going to alert status. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. Here he is. An explosion. I shot the window. And, uh,. Things didn't go over very well. There he goes. I was hoping we'd fall asleep on the ladder. Got him! What's going on? Oh shit, my suppressor's gone. He's using my fucking nugon! God damn it!
Go to sleep, damn it! Thank you! Oh, wow, that didn't even hurt. I'm surprised by that. Like, I figured that at least that fall would do a good amount of damage. Goodbye! What'd you do? Where'd my phone system go? He took my phone system! I swear to god I had a little bit more! We're both out of Fulton? Uh, this is awkward. I wonder what they're like. I'm gonna borrow this real quick. Rank C? Mmm, not too impressive then. And they've only got one skill. You could use my MK2 if you run out. That's true. If you don't have it equipped. Pew. Oh. What is he doing? Oh, he's calling it a supply thing. Will that give you Fulton things? No, I'll give you ammo. They've okayed your request for a cardboard box. It'll be sent out shortly. Damn. No Fulton systems. Sorry, pal. Looks like you fucked. Oh, it's a girl! Tsk tsk Snake it! Snake it! Snake it! I really wish we had... ...a Fulton thing, but we used it all! There's so many guys over here! It's ridiculous! Now we are in sync. We are one. I have no idea what it does when you're not doing other stuff. Snake it. Got it. Oh, that was it. Infiltrate the U.S. missile base. Complete. We're just dicking around on the outside of the mission. <laughs> Whoops. Russian soldiers, Russian KGB, CIA already have Paz and Galvez has gone missing. Maybe they were working together this entire time? I don't know.
That's the control tower. Proceed immediately to the control tower and stop Peace Walker from launching its nukes. The Walkman cannot be equipped. What? <laughs> That's such a random thing. Yeah, you can't equip the Walkman on this mission, by the way. Snake, Peace Walker's being controlled from the control tower. It's to the northeast. Get going. We'll be there to back you up. Okie dokie. I wonder if this is going to be kind of like a sneaking mission or what? Ah, we'll go with the sneaking suit anyways. Damn, that base is even more heavily guarded than Amanda's men said it would be. No kidding. It's going to be tough to crack without some serious hardware. You may end up having to fight fire with fire, so be ready to use force if necessary. Take as many weapons and items as you can carry. The more protection you have, the better. Roger. I'll keep that in mind when I pick my suit. I'll meet up with you ASAP, Snake. Hang tight for just a little longer. You got it. Oh. Alright, combat it is! That's good. <coughs> I just had to sneeze again. Alright, battle. This is the battle dress. No, it does not look like a dress. But it does look really badass. Combat. All right, Ranzik, let's kick this off. Hell yeah, let's head to that pixelated sprite over there. The control tower that's controlling Peace Walker is located to the northeast. Go back east the way you came, then head north from there. Sorry about this, fellas. I know usually I would knock you out, but that is just not an option! We have to stop Peace Walker! What the fuck? There's a sniper! Frantic bless his ass! I guess I should have asked what types of weapons I should carry because I've got I've got a boss loadout. I've got rocket launchers and machine and a machine gun. That's not exactly ideal, but yeah, rockets. It's definitely a combat scenario, though. Holy shit! This would definitely be one of those weird segments of the game you to try and stealth. Ah, fuck. I knew that grenade was next to me, but I was hoping I could take that guy out before I ran away from it. That's, uh, that's a lesson. <laughs> Left him near dead. Time to send him up. The problem for me is that usually I hit these guys in the fucking head. Or I try to, at least. But now I'm trying to hit him in the chest so they get fucking knocked down. There. You want some of this? And he's gone. Whoa! Calm down there, cowboy! Ah! I said calm down! Alright, I've got my tortilla chips, which are really low rank, but they are my backup because I don't want to waste rations if I can avoid the jets. Although, I mean, it's not like we have a lack of rations to use, but it can be effective. Oh. Where are we heading? Oh, we're heading into that tunnel. Okay, I get you. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't open before, but I'm going to ignore it because maybe that's how they rode into here. Mr. 
spray leaves you completely exposed. Can you make something to Wow! Holy shit! PG, this could be trouble. That was, uh... That was accidental! I blew up the bridge by shooting it with bullets! That's not what I anticipated to happen! Jesus Christ! I guess you could say this is cover. Alright, Ranzik. Let's see if I can make it to this guy in time. Yeah! No! Fuck! I wanted to fault in him. Oh no, Ranzik behind you! Cover! Got him! Don't worry. Where are we heading? I think we're heading back down into the hole. I like how they're just giving us like rank one love boxes. What the hell? Oh shit, there are guys behind us. Oh god. I'm just gonna use the stake in mode to fucking travel along with Razzik. Ah! Yep, I get you. Razzik! They're shooting my butt! There's nothing I can do about it! Ah, oh, my eyes! I can't see. Oh, we made it. Yeah. Take the elevator, quick. Good job, Ranzik. I can't even get behind him for a snake and get- there we go. 